please welcome back to Speedy Pie Pets. Viewer Crystal Coleman asked a great question. Could you do or have you done a video on what to look for with a good breeder? I won't tell you why I'm asking, lol. How often should breeders send pictures, videos? Should you be able to text them with questions on your puppy? Thank you. Thanks so much for leaving the great question, Crystal. And today, Pugsley and Lucy are gonna help me answer that question for you. So many people get burned by scammers, by bad breeders, and even fraudulent puppy rescues who are just trying to get your money any way they can. So it's really worth it to go over a few things to watch out for and a few things to do and ask about when you're trying to find a little sweetie pie of your own. So as your friendly and knowledgeable USDA licensed breeder, let me give you a few tips for what to look for when looking for a good breeder. First, I'll answer Crystal's questions, and then I'll provide you with a top 10 list of how to identify a good breeder. So first, Crystal asks, how often should breeders send pictures or videos? And the answer is, as often as you ask. Anytime you want a current picture of the puppy you're interested in, the breeder should not hesitate to send pictures to you, unless they just don't happen to be home at that very moment. But if they say something like, oh, my phone doesn't take pictures, or the puppy needs a bath, or it's just not convenient today, well, then that might be a red flag. Next, Crystal asks, should you be able to text them with questions on your puppy? Yes, of course. A breeder should answer all the questions you have. This is a huge commitment, not only for you, but also for the puppy. A responsible breeder should put your mind at ease if you have any concerns. And the breeder should be screening you in the process to make sure you've got a good home for the little baby. A truly responsible breeder should be asking you questions in return. Will you provide a safe and secure home for the puppy? Will the puppy be alone for long periods of time? Do you have a proper crate set up for the puppy? This is an adoption, and much like with a human baby, the adoption agency should be screening the prospective parents to make sure it's a good and safe environment. I've had to turn down a few families because I knew it wasn't going to be a good home. Okay, so now that I've answered Crystal's questions, I want to give you a top 10 list of what to look for in a good breeder. Number one, a good breeder should be willing to meet with you in person before you make any decisions. Even a live video chat should work. When I did my video on puppy scammers, one of the scammers said that his phone couldn't do FaceTime or Skype. Another scammer first asked me where I lived, and then he told me the name of the city he was in, supposedly. And it just happened to be slightly too far away to drive and meet with him. Number two, a good breeder should not be vague or elusive or offended when you ask them questions. And you should ask a lot of questions. Some questions to ask. Do you give a health guarantee? How long have you been breeding? What vaccines has the puppy received? Do you have any health records for the litter? At what age do you send the puppies to their new home? Number three, a good breeder should have a sanitary and healthy enclosure. Are the puppy parents well cared for? Do they appear happy and healthy? Does the breeder seem to have a loving relationship with the parents? A good breeder will keep the dog crate and the yard clean. There shouldn't be a lot of poops sitting around and the dog should have water available at all times. Number four, a good breeder will have healthy parents. And an exceptional breeder will do DNA testing on the breeding parents to eliminate genetic problems. This is something I do, and I feel it's far more valuable than having papers from AKC or other kennel clubs. There's a misconception that having kennel club papers means the dog is genetically healthy, but it doesn't mean that. Number five, are the puppies up to date on their puppy vaccinations? A good breeder should have started the puppy vaccinations by age eight weeks, and they should warn you that the puppy is not fully vaccinated until two weeks after the entire puppy vaccination series is completed, which means a puppy should not go outside on the ground until then. Does the breeder practice what she preaches? The puppy you go to visit should never be outside on the ground. Number six, a good breeder should be working on socializing the puppies. They should be viewed as pets. They should hold and interact with the puppies every single day. This is critical. A good breeder will also have at least started potty training. You can't expect the puppy to be fully potty trained by age eight weeks. You will have to take the puppy home and complete the training, but the sweetie pie should at least have a start on potty training. Number seven, as mentioned before, a good breeder will ask you questions about the home you'll be providing for the puppy. A responsible breeder should care. You should not get the feeling that the breeder is just willing to sell to anyone who walks in the door with money. Number eight, a good breeder doesn't sell their puppies at flea markets or swap meets. They should have a history of what they're doing, a marketing footprint, either online or with a reputable puppy classified website. Number nine, a good breeder should not overbreed the mama. 
a breeding female should skip her breeding cycle every couple of litters. Some breeders have different routines, so it's good to ask. Just say, how often do you breed your mamas? How many litters has she had? This is all part of the health and well-being of the mama. Ask the breeder when does she retire the mama? And what does she do with them after? Is she fixed? Is she rehomed? This will give you a clear picture of how the breeder views her own dogs. They should be viewed as pets and not just breeding machines. Can you be a pet? What about you, Lucy? He's a good girl. Yeah. Number 10. A good breeder will have documents, health records, paperwork, a sales receipt, and a sales contract. Ask for that sales contract right up front before giving them any money. A good breeder will do a wellness check at the vet and should show you the health records from that visit, possibly including the doctor's phone number so you can call the vet yourself if you have any questions. If the breeder does their own vaccinations, they should have the labels from the vaccines and provide them to you so that you know what to show your vet when you finish the vaccination series. If you found this what to look for in a good breeder top 10 list helpful, spread the word by sharing it on your social media apps, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and so on. Thanks so much for watching everyone and we'll see you next time on Sweetie Pie Pets. Bye bye. Say bye, Pugsy. Say bye, Lucy. Are you just hanging around? She's just hanging around waiting for it to be over. Oh, thank you for kissing. Oh, I love kissing. Oh, thank you so nice. You can kiss it so nice. Mm -hmm. I kiss you so nice.